Hey y'all, it's Anime Game Man. Today I'm gonna be bringing the second episode of The Promised Neverland. And I gotta say, this episode was pretty lit despite there not being any major death scenes like in the first episode or anything that's super shock factor. Because I like the amount of characterization they gave to Norman in regards to how he went from wanting to like originally just have himself, Emma, and Ray escape towards eventually it ending up where he wants to help rescue everyone because Emma won him over when it comes to wanting to rescue everyone else. So that was sweet. And then when he tells Ray that he likes Emma and he wants to make her happy, that was also another sweet scene right there. Especially when he said he's going to utilize himself so that nothing happens, so that Emma doesn't die. So all in all, those are beautiful scenes, and that was that was some sweet shit. So this episode did a good job of making Norman more likable and made Emma more likable too. Even though Ray kind of has a few points, if they bring in six-year-olds, the chances are gonna likely decrease when it comes to survival. And then there's another good point that the demons could be taking over the hum the world. So the chances of doing anything about that are kind of slim to none if they do take the little children with them, especially since children can s s sleep a lot longer than older children. So no, no, those are great points. You, it freaking raised the tension in the sticks quite a bit now because if they ever do escape to the forest, that's provided they don't go killed before all this, if they do escape, it's gonna make you wonder, damn, how dangerous is the actual world? So all in all, great fucking stuff from the anime so far, honestly. It's making me feel tense and scared for the characters. And it's making even Emma more likable. And hell, it made Ray more likable too, even though he said stuff like, we should leave behind everyone else and just, and he mentioned that just the three main groups should escape. And that's it, just, I kind of like that too, because, well, Ray's thinking of, the highest chances of survival. He, I mean, if you think of it from his perspective, he only wants to rescue the people he cares about the most and not everyone else because that will reduce the overall chance of survival. So I like how this episode gives us the perspective of everyone else before Ray gets won over by Norman and Emma and he helps agree to save, try to rescue everyone else too. So in all in all, these are all fine elements in the, in the episode. It fucking makes it even more awesome. And then aside from that, any scene that had Mama Isabella there. Oh my goodness, those are creepy, yo. Oh, honestly, she creeped me out more than some some of the bad guys you'd see in like a horror movie. Like the way she was just smiling with her fucking creepy fucking pedo like looking smile. My goodness. And then with the way she was like talking to Emma, asking questions about you didn't look so happy in the morning. And then Emma trying to play it off like a fucking boss. That shit was good. Because at the very least, it shows that, yeah, Emma's a quick learner. At the very least, she's adapting to the, to the situation by being able to fake emotions at a given notice. While at the same time, it shows you that she has a long way to go because after that situation when... Ray bailed them out by ringing the bell, and then Emma and Norman are panting. It still shows that since they're kids, their minds aren't completely mentally ready for the situation yet. But they're going to have to be pretty soon because they've only got two months left. So I like that, and I like the two-month deadline given out, too. It raises the stakes, and from a story perspective, it just makes it all interesting when the episode ends off with another mother-like character showing up. That's probably going to fuck shit up from the looks of it. So all in all, just nothing but exciting things in this episode from a story perspective. There wasn't a single dull moment. The characters are fucking likable. Hell, even the mother, the mo Mama Isabella was pretty cool this episode, even though she was fucking creepy. She makes for a cool antagonist. The art and animation are still on point. And the soundtrack was still pretty fucking good. And taking all these factors into consideration, I'm going to rate this episode an 8.5 out of 10. Still a strong, strong episode all around, and I cannot wait to see more. My goodness. 
Honestly. This anime knows how to make a cliffhanger. Because shit, I'm eagerly anticipating the third episode. So anyways, guys and gals, these are my thoughts on the ep episode. Comment down your thoughts and leave us below in the comment section. Rate the video, subscribe if you want to see more reviews and reactions. And I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more because we'll definitely be reacting to and reviewing the third episode. Alright guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.